these houses here in Wilkie are destroyed. You can see that uh, half of the roof is missing, there's no windows.
for view. Yes, yeah, do you have fuel here at Shopkey? Roger. Thank you. Those guys over there with a golf cart came real quick when I was approaching in the corner there. I don't know if they're security or where they are, but um, I guess they're afraid of pirates. I'm not a pirate. I'm a nice guy. That looks like a pirate. See, there they go over there. On the golf cart. Appreciate it. Taking care of the 300s, right? Thank you. Nice 300. Yeah, I, I was the uh, first thing he had to. Yeah, yeah, I understand. 
it's, it, was, it wasn't the custom plate, it was some other. filled up.
stay here in Shopkin. Instead, I just decided to go all the way instead of uh, instead of going all the way to uh, Bimini. I'm gonna go all the way to Great Isaac. Yeah, we'll have enough fuel to get there. So, and not just there to get back to uh, Florida. So I have to make it to Great Isaac with the fuel I got, and then make it all the way to Florida. So hopefully I can do that. So, so right now we're gonna navigate to route. Straight all the way to uh, Great Isaac. Spend there. It's gonna be a long ride. Probably about, about three hours. shallow see, see all that that's really shallow through there but we made it See that I'm running. 
running out of water, I have to leave. But I still got about, I think about 12 more bottles of water. Now, if I really need to, I'm gonna get the water and the light bulb and boil it. I got propane. So that will be the one last measure. I got some uh, Arizona tea and I got some beer. But your body asks you for water. Water is what keeps you hydrated. So worst comes to worst, I have to boil water, which I don't want to do. So two more nights, hopefully. Look how beautiful the water is here. I'm taking a little break. I'm in the middle of nowhere. Look at this. No. Nothing on sight. Look at the water, it's just incredible. I'm gonna get some snack real quick and continue. I got to the wheat line and I want to get some fish here. And I got this lure right here. This is the wheat line right here so I'm gonna throw all the way down to Red Isaac, see if I can catch something. Because I'm not gonna be able to troll when I get over there. Because I don't have a lot of fuel. So, this be perfect. You see the weed line is right here. Just went like that and it just 
kind of disintegrated the bait. What can you do? You gotta have a person looking at the bait while you steer. Time I shut the motor off. Oh, there it is, another one. There you go. It's a big barracuda. It's a big one. Here's Barracuda. So I had a bite, and then I got a Barracuda. So it could have been both things with the Barracuda, so. At least I tried. I saw the weed line, but if I am piloting the boat, hey, who's watching back there? So I gotta do both. Trolling by yourself, it's gonna run. I got a mirror right here, but I cannot see the full 100%. And in a split second, you'll lose that hook. I already burned about 20 gallons. And I got another 17 miles to go to get the grenade eye sack. I don't want to get too close to the fuel limit. Now, I looked into it, and the Bermuda Triangle, I believe it starts right there, right at the lighthouse. That's where that corner starts. There's no cell phone range there. There's no way of communicating. Uh, so you can't communicate with anybody online. Um, the radio, I don't know if it goes uh, 25 to 30 miles out to Bimini. I don't know if they can hear you there. But with the uh, Iridium satellite, I can email and I can text with this. I can use the satellite to do that from here. The reason that I got this is my first trip to the uh, Isaac. Okay, there was no range, so I said I gotta have some type of communication, especially when you're gonna sleep over next to the cave. You need some type of communication just in case something happens. For emergencies, I have this, and also I got this here. For emergencies, I got the radio. So I got three types of communication so far, and a handheld radio that I have here too, for emergencies. So you gotta have a lot of equipment with you. Um, if you're gonna be there with a boat that only has one engine, you better have as much as communication as possible. And then here, I have three forms of GPS. I can use my cell phone via satellite and Bluetooth to my cell phone. It becomes a GPS. I got a handheld one, so I got three. So I navigated all the way from Chub K to Great Isaac. It's been about over three and a half hours, doing about 26 miles per hour. And I've been running the air conditioner since over there. So it's been really comfortable running the AC. There's not a lot of traffic here. This is shallow waters. It's 30, 40, maybe 50 feet of water here. But 
more in the 40s. So big ships don't navigate through there. Like oil tankers, they don't go through there. We're almost there. There's a lighthouse. Show you where I take a shower. I just open this door. Come back in here. Close this one. Now all I gotta do is close this zipper. And I have an enclosed shower right in here. And then Here's my hose. I just take showers with this. And then when I'm done, I open the zipper back up. Open this door. And I'm back inside the uh, pilot house. All right, that's the way I take a shower. Very simple. I'm gonna have to shave today because my face looks like an old catcher smith. Oh, we gotta shave. I'm getting inside the shower now so I can shave. fish in the cooler for dinner but I don't want to eat the fish today it's a pretty good size strawberry grouper I may take that one home but I have this in the fridge this chicken wings they're already uh, seasoned in Jamaican jerk chicken and what I want to do is I want to batter them and fry them first I'm gonna wash my hands I'm gonna break the egg in here and put it in here that way it sticks to all the wings Right, the egg is in there. Now I'm gonna run that egg all over the wings. 
so that way the yolk and the egg will attach to the wing. See how I was doing it? And all the season is in there too. All right. It's all in there. This batter is already seasoned also. I use it for fish and everything. It's gonna be lightly seasoned. And I don't have a kitchen table, so this has to do. Yeah, I'm very exhausted from that big trip. All right, so we'll put it there like this a little bit. Slightly only. These wings are gonna be amazing because they've been seasoned for about two or three days. Look at that. Great. I would love to eat fish every day, but you get tired of eating fish every day. That's why sometimes I bring steak, other things, because you get tired of it. I can eat fish most of the time when I'm here, but I like to eat something else too. Look how beautiful that wing looks. Beautiful. Lightly battered. That was a crazy trip today. Very far. And I went through an area that I didn't know I could make it through because being so uh, so shallow. All right, this is the last wing. Oh, look at that sunset. Plantains. That boat that I showed you guys earlier, they came in. They say they watched my YouTube channel. Look at those plantains. Once the wings are done, I'm going to put a plate over it and then fry the tostones. That way I have the wings and the tostones at the same time. Tostones in. Since the tostones are made real fast, we be done in less than three minutes. Especially with all that oil, we be done quick. And 
one thing that I need to do is put some mild sauce on it while it's hot. And that smells really good. They're so hot that the sauce is just boiling out of it. Take the tostones out. All right, now I'm gonna squish them. Wow, that uh, sauce smells really strong in here. It smells really good. All right, let me put this in. Take the food out like we always do. Come and get it. Shut the generator. That way you listen to the birds. Look at those two huge barracudas in there. I don't know if you can see them. Huge backwards. Do you think I'm not gonna listen to those birds at night? Because I'm gonna have the generator on. They're the ones that gotta worry about me with my generator. <clears throat> this is my first time spending a night here. Let me tell you about a couple of stories they have about this cave here. When they were building the lighthouse, one of their workers was swimming in the water here, and a shark came and ate him. Also, the light keepers, a hurricane came and swept them away. Nobody knows what happened to them. Since then, the lighthouse has been abandoned. That's why there's a couple of structures up there. The light keepers people used to live there. A true story. Then I heard also another one, a little kid that died. 
actually drown. I'm so happy that I have air conditioning because those birds will drive you nuts at night time. Oh look, the lighthouse is on. Well, never mind, that's my uh, navigation light on. Those birds probably will start screaming once another one starts screaming. So, at the middle of the night, one goes crazy, the, all the rest will go crazy with it too. towards that way there's a place that is called the chicken coop that's where I'm going to be tomorrow fishing the chicken coop has got to be a great area to fish I already fished there before and I got a huge fish there and I lost one took all the line on the reel screaming and I lost it well, I'm going back inside to clean up So tomorrow is going to be a fishing day. I'm running out of water. And can you believe it? And Chub Key, they didn't have water for sale. It's just incredible. No water for sale. So if you were thirsty and you were dying of thirst, you probably would have died. Because they didn't have no water there. Maybe somewhere else, if you go look for somewhere else, they will have water, but not there. Crackers are really good. It has raspberries in it. I gotta keep charging my drone battery. I, today I charge them like six times. All those uh, island videos that I took. A lot of beautiful islands out there. In case. But the people that use these islands, like own them, are the rich millionaires. Regular people cannot own one of those islands. Tomorrow, I'm gonna go fishing. There's an area here that is called the chicken coop. Not the chicken coop, hands and chicken. See that? That's an excellent area to fish. It says here there's a wreck here and another one here never seen it and there's another one here too so see if tomorrow I can explore and find them hens and chicken that's what it's called and I 
got my anchor alarm set already for 100 feet but I'm quite away from land say so I'm about 400 feet away from land set my bed. You hear that sound? All the waves crashing into the boat. I find that relaxing. Some people don't. Got my pillow right here. And since I put the AC real cold at night, I got this nice blanket. I've served with the British Special Forces. I've climbed to the summit of Everest. On top of the food chain. 